Auntie Dawn, and this is your Choose Aloha session for today, because champions always choose aloha. So far, we have three superpower moves. First off, our power pose. Number two, we learned about affirmations. And number three, last time we were together, we learned about mindfulness. Isn't it great how all of these are easy superpowers and they all make us strong and courageous? I love it. Now time for today's superpower, the brave breath. What I love about this superpower is it is the biggest part of choose aloha. Ha in Hawaiian is the breath of life. You're breathing life, not death breath. Plus, we already do it. You and I breathe all day long. We are pros, like a boss. So the brave breath is just the next level up. Time to level up, friends. First, let's start with a warm up to train our brain. Let's start with a mindful moment. One, first off, remember to sit or stand in a comfortable position. I like where I'm sitting right now. Two, close your eyes and think about your thinking. Be aware of your thoughts and pay attention to the thoughts that are coming to your mind right now. What is coming into your head space? Next, let's be the boss and choose what we want to think about in our mindful moment. Let's think about our favorite friend. Let's think about why that person is our favorite. Why? That's your favorite friend, your BFF forever. Nice. Okay, that's our mindful moment for today. You should be feeling a little more chillaxed, calm, and empowered to learn. You've got great hormones surging through you, and here we go. Are you ready? Now it's time to level up. Let's add to mindfulness by controlling or training our brains to practice brave breaths. Brave breaths are the best because they help us to calm down, move past our fears, and be courageous. They help to train our brains and our bodies to get ready to learn. When we are stressed mentally and fearful physically, our muscles in our bodies tend to tense up. We can learn to relax our bodies and train our muscles to be relaxed. So when it's time to be courageous, we're ready. Here we go. Here's our brave breath exercise. First of all, in your sitting or standing position that you like, I like sitting down, put your hand on your belly. I'm gonna choose my left hand to be on my belly, just under your ribs, but above your pico or belly button. This is where your diaphragm is, and your diaphragm helps you to breathe, sing, and calm down. When you breathe with your diaphragm, it helps your body and brain to show courage. Second, place your next hand, your other hand, on your heart. See if you can get quiet enough to feel your heartbeat. Now close your eyes. Let's start relaxing our bodies. Start by inhaling. Take a slow, deep breath in and count to four in your mind. Feel your belly getting bigger and full of air like a balloon. Rather than expanding your chest, focus on expanding your belly, that's your diaphragm, and count to four, and then slowly breathe out. Let's try that again. Keep your eyes closed and relax and inhale. Feel your belly rise. Breathe in deeply and count to four. Let your belly fill up like a balloon. Then exhale slowly and count to four, feeling your belly fall. As you breathe out, feel relaxation all the way down to the tips of your toes. Focus your thoughts and mind on a balloon floating and rising above all things. When we are courageous, we too learn to rise above things that challenge us. Being courageous is an act of rising up. Let the brave breath remind you to rise up and be courageous. Let's take one more brave breath together. Keeping your eyes closed, slowly breathe in and breathe out. 
out. Allowing your whole body to relax, just sit with your eyes closed and remember a time when you were courageous. It can be a time you stood up for yourself or shared your feelings. It may be a time you were courageous towards someone at home or at school. Maybe it was saying no or helping someone who was being bullied. Close your eyes and envision the time you were courageous. Remember what you felt like after you practiced this act of courage. All right, come back to me and open your eyes. You can release your hands. You're now fully relaxed. Your brain and your body are connected and charged, ready to charge forward with confidence and courage. Great job, all stars. When we use this deep di diaphragmatic breathing, it's the brave breath and it sends a signal to your brain from your body to calm down. Remember the three parts of your brain. You're nudging all that oxygen up from the lizard. You're nudging the numbat and you're hugging the human. It causes us to calm down, decrease the fear and stress and anxiety and other strong emotions like anger. You're not going to flip your lid. You're going to flip the script. Brave breaths help our bodies to relax, help your emotions to calm down, and help your brains to get ready to learn. You're choosing the best life. Choosing aloha. And the best part of the deal, you can choose a brave breath anytime you like. It's between you and you. It's secret. Anytime you want to focus, relax, or be courageous. I use brave breaths before I have to talk to someone I'm having a problem with, usually when people are being mean. Practicing brave breaths helps us to keep a positive attitude even in a negative situation. And just like math or sports or a musical instrument, the more you practice, the better you get. So keep practicing, keep choosing aloha because champions always choose aloha. A-L-O-H-A, -A, a little aloha in our day.